What's up folks? Matt from Three Pound Fish and I'm glad you, you joined me. I want to wish everybody a happy holidays, a Merry Christmas. I just got done with a, a guide trip that was awesome and one of the things that came up during that guide trip was how do I find fish now versus then before live scope. So our topic today is going to be finding fish, how we do it now when we go to a new lake. If you want to know this, I'm going to go be straight up honest with you, let you know exactly what we, how we do it at Three Pound Fishing. I got some rods to rig up and I've got a buddy gonna join me. So thanks for watching. We appreciate it. And Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all that great stuff. Um, gonna be a great day on the water. Big fish are gonna go in the boat. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, we have a surprise guest in the boat, Mr. Burke Watts from the, uh, the Strip Cut. If you guys remember the excellent episodes we do from the Strip Cut. Hello everybody. This is the reason why we fish the strip cut. So he's gonna join us. This will be your first time seeing the 16 inch uh, Garmin. Right. I'm excited. So we're gonna talk, you know what we're gonna talk about today, Burke? No. How to find crappie in lakes that you have never fished before. How we how we do it now versus how we used to do it maybe before life goes. Well, I've never fished a crappie on this lake, so that'd be interesting. There you go, so. All right, well, let's find some fish. We found a mother load, folks. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Holy cow. All right. Them some crappie. <laughs> I could even find them on that thing. <laughs> we so can start off with 12 a, feet. Yeah, so they're 12 foot down. Oh, well, they're actually starting at eight feet. Is that uh, what they do in the winter? They just pile like that? Yeah. Uh, everybody comes here for winter fishing. Uh, first cast, yeah. there it is, first fish. <laughs> Just, Folks, it just doesn't get any easy easier. Yeah, you just gotta throw it out there and you gotta know, let it get into that pile. Look, look at Ooh, this. Ooh, that's a slab, Daddy. <laughs> Ugh, uh, sniping braid, getting her done. Good start. First cast, first guest on three pound fishing. Oh, baby, this could be a good episode. Two cast, two fish, Burke. <laughs> Burks two cats, no fish. So. <laughs> oh. Folks, I'm just telling you, winter fishing doesn't get much better than that. That's a slab. That's a good eating fish right there. Towards the house? Right there. Look, there's a point right there. So how we find crappie now versus then. Before, before we would use side imaging a lot. And I think now what's happened is we use maps a lot. So I'll use my Garmin unit. I'll use any information I can find online on a lake. Kentucky Lake's a perfect example. All I'm looking for is the creeks. And one of the most valuable things that you can, that we have on these Garmin units is the mapping. The mapping is incredible. Topographical maps that really show you detail on where these creeks are and where they're coming in at. So I'll literally use a map on a unit, on a Garmin unit, and then we will then live scope that entire area essentially. We won't use side imaging nearly as much. Now, if we're trying to cover water, like in other words, we don't have a lot of time, we might use a little bit of side imaging, but live scope's gonna really tell us a story and give us a, uh, a reality, of what's truly going on. There you the go, Mark. The non-crappie non guy's catching fish. <laughs> Sniping braid, three pound fish, and put it in the boat. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Folks, if I can do it, I promise you anybody can do it. There we go, three pound fishing. All right. Give him a little kiss. <laughs> Back in the water. Non-stop action, folks. You gotta love school fishing, man. If you wanna check it out, you can go to threepoundfishing.com on the guide service. Bam! Lots of fun. I promise you, there's nobody more fun to hang out with for a day than Matt either, so. He's gonna hit you too. I gotta yes, quit watching. Boom, he hit you. No, he didn't. Yes. Oh, no, shit. I didn't feel he, it. He kissed it. He kissed it. <laughs> Come back and get it? <laughs> yeah, he did. Good night. Folks, it's just, <laughs> just a great time on the water. Woo! Nice double up, be nice right about now. Come on! <laughs> Didn't it? 
All right, let me show you this mapping. I want you guys to see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, when we go to Kentucky Lake, any lake that, uh, um, we go to Kentucky Lake, any lake, we will investigate maps online. We'll look at the Garmin unit and we will look for the creek channels. That's number one. So in order to do that, you'd hit your home, come over here to charts, navigational chart. I guess I have, you know, to, what, to be honest with you folks, I have not used the mapping on this new unit and that's why I'm having to do this. So we're gonna come all the way in. Now look at that. It's clearly showing the creek bottom at Lake of Egypt, our home lake. And all I'm doing when I go to these other lakes is I'm using that map to figure out where those creek channels are. All right, so after today's guide trip, it is always required to redo some of these rods. So I wanted to show you guys a, um, a loop knot. Some people question, like first off, obviously putting braid straight to a jig is always a big question mark. Doesn't seem to be an issue for three pound fishing or a lot of people, but some people are always concerned. They want a leader. Folks, I think if that fish is gonna eat, he's gonna eat. So put the sniping braid right up to the jig. But a lot of people also talk about loop knots and uh, the different type of knots people use. And, I use a loop knot, so I'm gonna go through the loop knot here shortly. All right, so the reason why you do a loop knot is because you want it to, to hang horizontal, make it look more like a bait fish. Now, who knows if that does any, if that truly works or not, but makes me feel better. And that's what we use here at Three Pound Fishing. And we add a number seven split shot. We use our teeth, which we're not supposed to. Put on a little plastic, and you're good to go. That is a loop knot, folks. Oh, baby, he took that one, folks. And this is a good fish. Oh. Good fish right there, folks. Bam, we'll let that guy go. Oh, you got one coming now. See him? Now play it. Go fight. Yep, here he goes. He's going to hit you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Did it all right. <laughs> Did it all right. Ooh, you coming right through it? Is that me? Yep. Ooh. There it is. <laughs> oh, that's a tank. Woo! Monster. That's a half half pound fishing club right there, folks. Sometimes those count. Get it hard though. Oh, that's our double. Double. <laughs> that's an ending, folks. When you get two, you call it good. There it is, folks. Thanks for watching. Good fish in winter time. Woo! Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.